want to know how I got my natural tight four hair to look like this, all of this beautiful, glorious curls, then stay tuned. I try to avoid combs and finger to tangle a lot. So if you do this really well, you can avoid combs and avoid breakage. So before every protective style, I always make sure I moisturize my hair really well and my scalp. Um, and I also always trim my ends. So there's still a little bit of shrinkage, but I did trim the ends. So we are ready to tame the beast and braid her all up. I always leave a leave out in front because I think it makes it way more natural. So just a thin layer in front. Around the perimeter. Which I'm going to uh, flat twist to keep it out of the way while I braid the rest of the hair. So about a finger breadth, about the width of my finger, that's how little I leave out. I'm just combining the braids with some of the hair in the back. So finally finished doing my hair, braiding it. Now all of this is pretty much either leaf out or the braids themselves that I'm going to pin down. Um, you can either, you know, crochet them down or you can sew them down, your choice. I usually just crochet it, um, weave it in the back. So let me show you. So as you can see, it's not the neatest in the back, which is okay. I use my hands most of the time instead of a, you know, a comb. Yeah, but so number two, and it came um, with the three, and it was only $11.99. Can you believe that? $11.99, so it's really affordable. So I'm just gonna take it out. And hopefully I'm not gonna use all of it because I feel like that would be a lot of hair. Even though I know there are some people who use three, even four packs of hair. So I'm just gonna cut it, take it off the packet. Okay, you can just put these directly in your head. You don't have to brush it out or separate it. I did another video um, a while back on my other channel, Kenton and Habiba, where I installed Marley braids, but I would separate them into smaller pieces. I'm still gonna separate them when I get to the front because it makes it a lot more natural, but for the back and the middle, I'm just gonna put it in right as it is. So it's really easy. One pack of hair so far looks like. You really need to space them out because it's so easy for you to have like super huge hair, which would look a little bit too wiggy. So try to space them out really well. But this is one pack. So it comes up this much. Okay, on to the next. So far I have two packs of hair in. Whoa! <laughs> As I get to the front, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ends, like I said before, and then I'm going to separate the pieces so that they are a lot thinner and more natural towards the front. So there you go, and go ahead and insert this in the front. 
right there. Again, put the hook in. Attach the hair. Close the latch. Pull it through. And again, because this hair is coarse, I really don't even have to knot it. I just pull it and it's secure. The leaf out, I tried to closely put as many of the uh, crochet braids as possible. Okay, my husband was like, whoa, what is that? So I'm gonna have to go in and just trim it a little bit trim it, just taper it just a little bit. It's a little heavy, um, I mean heavy looking, but it's actually very light. This hair is super, super light, um, really light. So I like this hair. I did to show you this in real time because it is quite tedious, like I said before. And a paddle brush would also be ideal. So she's back and I went ahead and dipped my ends in hot water. So pretty much put the braid, immerse the braid in a cup of boiling hot water. I'm not gonna do it here. Actually there is water in here. Um, but I'm not gonna do it on camera. I already did it. You have to be very careful. You want hot boiling water and you don't wanna burn yourself. So as you can see, I had perm rods on the ends and this gives it this uh, very natural looking um, curl at the end and now I am ready to take them down so let's see what's going on underneath here so I'm gonna try not to um, tangle them or get too much frizz so you just want to be really careful just take your time so try not to do this too much in a hurry to avoid frizz carefully undo my leave out which if you've um, tightly twisted it you know flat twisted it it will blend in perfectly I just added shade butter to it before I went to bed and tightly flat twisted it and this should blend in really well don't forget your edges Here's the final look. What do you think? <laughs> completely 100% natural underneath this. I don't have a relaxer, so it's amazing what a little edge control and blending with texture the hair can do. Ladies, I hope you were inspired by this tutorial. 
Um, it's not hard to do. It is a little bit time consuming, but it is so worth it. And I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe. I will try to bring you uh, more hair videos more often. Uh, if not with my hair, um, then with my daughter's hair, with extensions, with weaves, with braids, all of that. I love it all. So um, I hope you come back soon. And again, thank you so much for watching. God bless.